Yo, peace. What up, y'all? This is Al Green. Right now, you're tuning into copious amounts, large amounts. That's what we're doing today. Check it out. We're going to do a Detroit style pizza right here. Four or five different types of pizza. We're doing wings. We're doing Belgian beer. We're doing German beer. I mean, don't leave. Stay right here. You know what I'm saying? Copious amounts. Peace. making some Detroit style pizza. I got my pizza doll here from Nino's, Nino's Pizza out in Baltimore. We get it delivered. Uh, it's a beautiful dough, nine and a half ounce ball. Stretch it out, let it proof. It gets all bubbly and beautiful. You see, you know what I'm saying? It's, you can press into it, it's just it's gorgeous. Detroit style pizza, different from any other kind of pizza that you probably have had. Shout out to Detroit, they the ones. It's not Chicago, it's not New York. It's their own thing, it's a square pizza. It's a lot of stuff you do to this pizza. First thing you do to this pizza is you put cheese on top. No sauce first, you put your cheese on top. Boom, it's not a saucy pizza. If you like a lot of sauce, go to Pizza Hut. This is Detroit style pizza, that's how they doing it in the deep. So, once you get shredded mozzarella, boom, beautiful. We're gonna take the Parmesan cheese and run it down the edges. What happens is if we put it on those edges, when it bakes, it gets this nice, nice crust. You'll see it on the sides. We're gonna do a few pizzas today. Uh, this one right here, we're gonna do barbecue chicken, all right? So this is our tomato sauce. What we're gonna do is get one of these little chicken cutlets, some of this barbecue sauce, and we'll put them a few dollops on there, you know what I mean? Like just a couple dollops. Boom, just like that. Take our chicken, cut it up real nice. Nice little cubes. Most barbecue chicken, they use a pulled chicken. It's Detroit pizza, we black, we using fried chicken. Come on, what's better than fried chicken and pizza? Nothing. So we're gonna do that. All right, now that we got that, we're gonna take some red onions. These beautiful red onions. We're gonna sprinkle them right on top, just like that. All right. Got the red onions there, last thing. More Parmesan, right on top, just like that. It's our barbecue chicken pizza. We're gonna cook them in a minute. Let's make another pizza. Let's make a, let's make a margarita pizza. All right, margarita pizza, it's a little history. Uh, Queen Margarita of Savoy, back in the 1800s, was doing good stuff for the people. She uh, was always helping the poor, doing things. So when they had a little celebration, she was like, yo, she went to the head chef, the pizza dude. She was like, y'all need a pizza to celebrate us. So he made the margarita pizza. And it was green, white, and red. And those are the colors of the Italian flag. So it was, a, it was an ode to her. So we got some baby buffalo mozzarella right here. We got that. What else we got? Fried chicken. Come on, I'm using it two ways, baby. Let's go. All right, now we're going to cut this chicken up. Joker. We're not gonna put chicken on a margarita pizza, all right? We're gonna put some basil on the pizza. I'm just gonna tear it just like that. It's gonna get a little crunchy in there and then we'll put some more basil on top. What else we need? Parmesan cheese, boom. Just like that. And what else we gotta do? The most important part, make sure we get along those sides. So important for the crust. It's not Detroit style pizza if you don't have Parmesan cheese running down the sides, all right? All right, so there's another one. Before we cook these, it's copious amounts. Let's make some more pizza, you know what I'm saying? Let's get some more dough. Let's make some more pizza. All right, here we go. Here's another one of our pizzas. It's a chicken parm pizza. More fried chicken, more buffalo mozzarella, more sauce, boom. There it is. And then you got the dudes who, you know, they don't like to eat the meat, so we're gonna do something for y'all, you know? Not everybody like meat in their mouth, you know what I'm saying? Some people just against the meat in their mouth. I, f I feel you, son, I'm not mad. But boom, that's what we're gonna do. Again, cheese on top. 
just like that. All right. Of the important part, Parmesan cheese, right along the sides, all the way down. Okay. We're going to spinach on the bottom. You put spinach on the top, you're going to burn it. Make sure you put it on the bottom. These things, these things get these out of here. We need those. We need leaves. We need stems. Like other enjoyable things. No stems. All right. We got some julienne bell peppers, red, yellow, and some white onions, as well as green. Cremini mushrooms, right on top. All right. Farm-raised tomatoes in the green basket. It's so beautiful. Look at them. I mean, just beautiful cherry tomatoes. Look how big that is in my hand. That's, you know, that's a lot of water, a lot of good juice in there. I'm gonna sprinkle those right on top. Last but not least, you know it, baby. More Parmesan cheese. You just can't get enough. All right, bro. So, let's go back track real quick. It's our barbecue chicken, chicken palm. Margarita, veggie. Now, what we gonna do with the barbecue? Most people put jalapenos on. I got this hot cherry pepper relish. So, so good. Just gonna add some dollops of that on there. That's gonna give you a little bit of kick. There's nothing wrong with that kick. It helps open up your appetite. It's really, really good. If you don't like spicy, just don't put it on. Ask for it without it, but we here. Copious amounts. We had everything. All right, so now, we got these four pizzas. I have more chicken here, more tomatoes. What else can we do? We got the veggie pizza. This is gonna be a meat lover's pizza. I'm, I'm going off a whim here. This is for people who like a lot of meat in their mouth. If you like a lot of meat in your mouth, this is for you. You know what I'm saying? We're going with the ingredients we got. We're gonna put some fried chicken on there. We're gonna put some sausage on there. We're gonna put some bacon on there. I got some little salami nuggets. Look at these beauties. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that marbleization, all that fat in there. I mean, that's just goodness ready to go. All right? Boom, cheese. Again, this is Detroit style pizza. This is not any other kind of pizza that you've ever had. Cheese has to go on top. It's just the way it goes. I didn't make the rules, I'm just following them, all right? Get some more sauce here. This is pizza, it's not supposed to be perfect. Spread it out, dollop it on. It's just for little bites of sauce. Like I said, not a real saucy pizza. Boom. All right, let's do this. Let's go fried chicken first, boom. Fried chicken. Oh yeah. Sausage. All right, where's our little salami nuggets? Our little babies here. I'm gonna spread these out. Put these over here. All right. All right, boom, we spreading them all out. Come on now. Bacon, come on. We're not using pancetta, we're using bacon. The kind mama used to make in the morning. The kind that leave a whole lot of grease in it. Get on your arm if you get too close to the stove. That's like the warning, you know. Don't go in the kitchen with mama cooking because the bacon gonna burn you on the arm. So we're gonna put that right on top of the pizza. All right, what are we missing here? The most important thing, the Parmesan cheese, baby. All the way down the sides. And sprinkle something right on top. I mean, look at that. Look at these babies. Come on. All right, so now we got our pizzas done. All right, it's our chicken parm, our barbecue chicken, margarita, veggie, and meat lovers. You look over here, this is what I was talking about. You see how Parmesan cheese, look at it just crumble. I mean, it's, it's, it's like apple crumble in the bottom of that crust. I mean, come on, that's crusty. It's like your deep dish pizza, but all over. Wherever you go, you get a piece of it. So we're gonna garnish these babies up. All right, we start with our chicken parm. Chicken parm, we're gonna cut it three ways. Once, right down the middle. Once on the side, once on the side. A little bit of Parmesan. Sprinkle that right on top. 
I mean, it's chicken parm pizza. You can't have enough Parmesan. There you go. I'm gonna take some of this basil. Just gonna pick a few pieces. We're just gonna pinch it. All right, just like that. A bit more. Okay. The olive oil here. I'm just gonna brighten her up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Chicken palm. It's our barbecue pizza. Let's get her cut up. Okay. Another one down the side. Another one down the side. And it's barbecue pizza. We put some on there, but more sauce don't hurt at all. We're just gonna sprinkle it, just like that. Nice barbecue sauce. Cilantro. I mean, just so good. Smell it, you smell it? You smell it? Come on now. What's life without cilantro? It ain't life. It's not copious. It's not copious at all. Pick some leaves. We're not here to look pretty. We're here to eat pizza. Get some of these stems out of here. Oh yeah. It's enough for everybody. For all y'all talking about you find hair in your food, sometimes it ain't hair. You see this? This is from the stem. This ain't hair. This is natural hair, you know what I'm saying? Stop it with I found the hair in my food. Ish. It ain't always hair. Alright, margarita pizza. Alright. So this basil's got a nice little crunch to it. You know what I mean? We wanna leave that crunch there, that's texture. We're gonna take some more basil. And put some more on top. We get two kinds of colors here. Alright, we got a buffalo mozzarella. You see that cheese? See how it just melted right on top like that? Oh, it's gonna be so good. And when we pull it from the middle, come on. All right. Now, my personal favorite, the veggie pizza. Oh, this is so good. I'm gonna cut right down there. Cut the sides. I mean, this is like great and horrible at the same time. It's your veggies, but it's all this pizza. We got arugula. Arugula. As Steve Martin said, it's a vegetable, arugula. You know, you see my blue heaven, you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna sprinkle that right on top. All right, once we got our arugula there, we put some parm. Then we're gonna do a nice little balsamic vinaigrette glaze. And we're just gonna really make it nice and pretty right on top, just like that. All right, now we got Legend. The Don Dada. I mean, you gotta lift it with two hands. You can't even lift it with one hand. It's just that, it's that meaty. You know what I'm saying? You need the meat that you gotta hold with two hands. This is the kind of meat I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> we ain't got no small meat around here, son. We got big meat around here. Big meat. Put it in your mouth. All right, here we go. All right, now we got fried chicken. We got bacon. We got sausage, we got these little salami nuggets, these little babies right here. Oh, let's put some Parmesan on here. All right, let's do that. What else we gonna put on here? Put some olive oil on there. All right, look at that. That's some fresh garlic over here. Look at this fresh garlic. I mean, that's fresh garlic. Just gonna take some, we're just gonna rub our fingers together. No garlic powder, fresh garlic. All right, sprinkle it just like that. This pizza. Let's put some basil on here. Let's try to even it out. Some vegetables for the meat lovers pizza. All right, meat lovers, veggie, margarita, barbecue chicken. Chicken Parmesan. I mean, I don't know where to go. Where should I go? Well, which one should I get? Come on, let's have a slice. 
while we talking pizza, what's pizza without good beer? All right. This is the number one craft beer in Germany. Number one. All right. Bitburger. I mean, this is a premium pilsner. I mean, this six pack costs like $17. This isn't no normal six pack. This isn't a hot life that you go get for you and your uncle to sit on the porch. This is Detroit style pizza kind of beer. So like we've making a cross between Germany and Detroit. It's like a one stop flight. Like you bring your beer with you and then you get to Detroit, you pop your beer open and you get a beautiful, beautiful golden color. I mean, look at that. Come on. I, you know what it smells like? It smells like donut kebab. You ever have a donut kebab? A donut kebab, you know, they in Germany, they all over the place and they, they shave this lamb on this big tortilla and they, you know, they put lettuce and tomato. Sometimes they put burgers on it and ketchup and mayonnaise and they wrap it up like a burrito and slice it and boom, you just take, this smells like a donut kebab. This smells like, smells like plum. It smells like Heidelberg. It smells like mine. See you know what I mean? It smells like Germany. It smells like. I'm sorry, we might cut that out, but you, you got what I'm saying. It smells like Germany. Shout out to Germany. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna have to go with barbecue chicken. Look at this. That chicken. Isn't that crust. Come on. I mean, come on. Are you gonna need better than this? This. You got the chili flakes in there. A little bit of spice in this. A little cilantro. You got the chicken. I mean, it's all over the place. Mm. The veggie beef. Like I got this. It's my favorite. I mean, come on. Look at this. My oh, beauty. Me lovers. I mean, look at this. Oh my God. Look at that. Pizza. Beer. Say the name of our show? Copious amounts. Copious amounts. I stuff stuck in my teeth. I'm saying, no, it's good. It's not getting stuck in your teeth. You gotta go to the bathroom and work it out before you go back to see Shorty. It ain't the right pizza. You know? okay. This is my personal favorite though. That's that buffalo mozzarella right there. You hear that buffalo mozzarella? I mean, it doesn't want to break off. It's like tied to his cousin and said, yo, we can't separate. But I mean, it's cheese, it's sauce, it's basil. It's a beautiful crust. I mean, you would think a donut is in there. Look at that crust. But look outside of it. So you got that nice soft gooeyness right there and that hard crunch. Oh. Mm. Listen for the crunch, listen for the crunch. Mm. German beer, Detroit pizza. Let's make some wings. So I said some wings too. I had already seasoned them, they're baked wings. So we got a little oregano on there, a little salt, a little pepper, a little rosemary diced up. We send those through, all right? What we gonna do? Wait, two calm, we make one sweet, one savory. So, I'm gonna pop all these in the bowl right here. All right? We're gonna make a little garlic Parmesan wing, all right? So I got here some garlic powder. Sprinkle some of that on there. Some onion powder. Boom. All right. Fresh garlic. Oh my God, come on. Guess what? Let me get a little spicy. Some of that crushed cherry pepper relish that we got. Sprinkle that on there. Some olive oil. And God knows we love some cheese. Oh yeah. Some cheese in there. All right, we'll mix these up. Right. And we're going to end a little debate today with these wings, alright? I'm going to show you how we're going to end this debate. Right. So 
Now we got some of that all over. Grab a basket. Put the undisputed king of dippings in this basket. I don't want to hear nothing about no blue cheese. We're going to put the good old ranch in the middle of this basket. I don't care what kind of wings you got. Sriracha, lemon pepper, barbecue, harissa, ranch. It goes with all of it. Not no blue cheese. We also are going to end another debate. Shout out to Tigolo Fonte for the all flats. We want flats, all right? And I'm gonna show you why. But first, we wanna take a good look at our wings, all right? I mean, come on, look at these puppies. Look, you see it was about to fall in the ranch because it knows. Look at that. We got Parmesan on there, fresh garlic on there. And what we'll do, we'll take our spoon. See all those goodies in there? Scrape some of those. Boom, right on top, just like that. Then what we gonna do? You know what we gonna do. More Parmesan, bling. I mean, come on. Now let's talk about these flats. Take a drumstick, what do you do? Pick it up, you eat it, eat the middle of it, whatever. Take a flat, it's magic. It's a little bone in here, all right? Okay? We gonna pop it. Once we pop it, boom, just like that. Twist it. Once we twist it, look at that. It ain't pretty nothing on there. But then you see this? We just gonna push up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can't do that with a drum. You need a flat to do this. And guess what? It's ready for dipping. Boom. In the ranch. Just like that. Blow. No problem. Boom, there you go. Garlic, Parmesan, spicy wings, black, all right? Come on, let's do some more. I'm hungry. Boom, take these, eat it. Come on, mm. let's get this out of here. I got my bones in there, look at me. I'm I ain't forget about y'all. I got your drum, people, all right? We're gonna get some drums for y'all, all right? I ain't mad at y'all, I understand. It is what it is. All right, what we're gonna do? More onion powder. What else? A little bit of garlic. Just a little bit, all right? This isn't a savory one, it's a sweet one. Some olive oil, right on top. Just like that. Man, fresh honey from the farm, from the honeycomb. Shout out to Queen Bee, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pour that honey right on top. Just like that. All right. Now, we got our wings. Mix these up, all right? And that honey, get it real nice. See how that honey is starting to coat them? Oh, that's beautiful. It's a nice stickiness that you want on your wings. Well, add yeah, a little bit more. Just so we get a nice even coating here. Oh, that's beautiful, all right? Again, you don't have to fry your wings. Everyone wants to fry them. We ain't gotta fry your wings. Bake them. Bake them for like 30 minutes. Take them out. Turn the heat up. On broil. Put them at the top of the oven. Let them broil for 10 minutes. I promise you, I promise you, everybody's gonna think they fried, but they're not. It's a lot healthier for you. You don't have to drip them in that oil. And guess what? That flavor, it stays in there. So, so good, all right? So, we got our honey, garlic, wings, right here. We're not gonna have no spice in these. We want them to be just a tad bit sweet. Excuse me. All right, again, the undisputed king. A dippins. Shout out to Hidden Valley. Ranch. Ranch. With the R. They make everything, but alright. I don't care. 
Hidden Valley. Go to the shelf tomorrow and look. The ranch gonna be almost sold out. It's gonna be plenty of blue cheese options. Get your ranch. Right in the middle, we are gonna put that right there. All right, we're gonna take these. We're gonna line them up, big boy style. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put them that way. That way, if somebody wants one. We'll just grab it. You know? Plating is all about the people. You know, you do your plating for the people. This is why you do this. When it comes to flats, you ain't gotta worry about it. Cause what you do if you grab a flat? This, we gotta be sophisticated for our drum people. So here, here you are drummers. What else we gonna do? You know what we gonna do. Oh man, a yeah, little bit of some Parmesan on there. Honey, garlic, Parmesan, wings. Boom, what we missed? Missing about six, not but beautiful beer out of Belgium. Whole garden. A lot of people are familiar with Blue Moon. This is like a Blue Moon, but this is like the I don't know. It's like the MC8 of beers. It's the original OG. It's, it, it's the, you know, y'all shut the F up. Pass me a whole guard because this is, this is real. So it's gonna have a nice bright color. And I mean, it's just gonna be so good. And if you look at the other beers, I ain't got nothing against them. They're good beers. But look at that color. I mean, original Belgium wheat beer. That's what a wheat beer should look like. All right, you should almost be able to see through it. Slightly cloudy. So good. Smells like Antwerp. Shout out to Antwerp. Shout out to Belgium. Shout out to A Town. Shout out to Waffles. Shout out to beautiful, beautiful honey, garlic, wings. Oh my God. I mean, it's crispy. My fingers are sticky. I mean, mm. Forget about it. Didn't have to dip that one in the ranch. It was surprising. It was that good? But here we are. Oh guard. Wings. What's the name of my show again? Copious amounts. Copious amounts. Hashtag CA. Hashtag beer. Pizza. Food. Al Green. Signing off one time. Thank y'all for tuning in. I love y'all. Peace.